The One Piece fan letter just solved one of the biggest mysteries in all of One Piece and everyone seems to have missed it. I will be talking about it later in the video so stay tuned for it and watch the entire video. For now though, let's talk about this new series that One Piece has started. Let's talk about So, what exactly is this One Piece fan letter you ask? Good question because I myself don't know either. I did some research and turns out it is a loose anime adaptation of One Piece novel Straw Hat Stories released to commemorate the One Piece anime's 25th anniversary. And the first episode, I guess, I don't know if this is going to have more episodes or not, follows the story of two different characters and the episode was well it was one of them. The series follows or at least this one specifically followed the story of a young girl who is at the age of 15 and she looks up to Nami as her idol. The story itself is actually genuinely very sweet and it follows the story of powerless people in this heavily power centered world and it shows the story of the people who do not want to be a pirate in this story where being a pirate is everything. The episode specifically tackles the story of two characters like I said, a very average talentless marine and a very average girl. If you have not seen the episode then don't worry. I won't be spoiling it. I am just here to give my thoughts over it. The animation of this episode was amazing. The stories themselves were fantastic and I absolutely loved them. It followed a different dynamic from your normal One Piece and it took a very nice and slow turn towards the world of One Piece. I mean this is there is a reason why One Piece is said to have the best world building in all of anime. The emotion that they show in this episode were great. It's so good. The stories, the plot twist and everything was fantastic. The timeline of this episode was 2 years after the Paramount arc where Luffy and his crew were supposed to meet at Sabaody. One of the funniest scenes in this episode was when people the people in the bar were discussing who the strongest swordsman in the world is and they think that Zoro is dead but Zoro is right there and while leaving he beats up the guy. And then sometime later Sanji goes there and asks why they aren't talking about Black Leg and they just laughed and said that Sanji's bounty is less than Zoro so obviously he will be weaker than them. And then you guessed it Sanji too beats the fuck out of them. The major focus of this episode was just the story of the girl who wanted to give Nami the fan letter hence the name One Piece fan letter. Coming back to the prior topic, this episode also answered one of the biggest mysteries in all of One Piece. How did Zoro get to Sabaody before anyone? Turns out, Perona, you know the ghost girl who worked for Moria before, she was the one who dropped Zoro there and she was also the one who looked out after whether Zoro got prop got there properly or not. It is very funny and very wholesome. Overall, the episode was an absolute banger and I loved it. The episode genuinely made me emotional and the last scene of the episode was absolutely like you know it just gave me goosebumps it was so good. The other story of the episode follows the story of this normal powerless marine guy who sort of hated his brother for being too full of himself but changes when he sees that Luffy would do anything to save his own brother. That was the moment that changed his life and wow that was such a good scene. This was definitely the quality that you would expect from the likes of One Piece as the story was just amazing and it was really fulfilling. At the end they showed us of what's to come which is the Fishman Island uh, special episode but with better animation and great pacing so I am super excited for that. One of the best things about this anime or this episode was that the animation here wasn't super clean like the Zoro fights. Now I'm not saying that the animation was bad. What I'm saying is that the way they animated it was very different than normal One Piece animation and it perfectly fits the theme of this story. Like it's hard to put in words but this somewhat sloppy animation was exactly what they needed for this series it was phenomenal this is that is really all that i had to say for today it's not too big of a video it's sort of a short video but uh, i loved the episode it was a great episode and i would love to see more like these from one piece because it was really good and it was a, an amazing change of pace from normal one piece story i also love the fact that the girl looks like a mini version of nami and it's just so cute We also see uh, I don't know if it's the right if it's right to call them cameos but we also see what the other characters were doing before meeting up the crew and that is also very sweet. This scene with the strong and macho guy uh, the navy guy is also very funny uh, and it just matches the funny vibes of One Piece when he was like looking at uh, Chopper's photo and he's like ah oh, Chopper is so cute it is very cute and in the end when they set sail and the girl raises her arm is such a good scene. Another great story of Ichiro Oda. So good. Ichiro Oda is a master of his work. Another fabulous thing is I used to think until now that this was just something fan made and made with made using AI, but the ending of the song is um I don't remember the name of the song. It goes like Ichi ni sunshine yo. That one 
they used the song where all the straw hats sing it and that was such a beautiful song i love it amazing episode so good now i would like to talk about some scenes in the anime and uh, go a little bit in detail so the people that have not seen the episode yet the people that have not you know watched it uh you should watch the video and watch the episode and then come back to this video at this point because it will spoil you i want to talk about something that people normally seem to have missed i was looking through the net and people seem to have missed it all right now that they are gone and no one will be spoiled let me say what i actually have to say this episode was absolutely horrible it was fucking garbage like what the fuck first of all kid no one gives a fuck about you and who the fuck chooses nami as their role model like i think after griffith nami is the worst role model anyone can have she will literally sell her body for money and you know it's the truth don't you dare try to deny it the other story was even more shit like yeah sure in the end when despite having a bad leg he decided to go and help his brother and that was very brave of him but what is so shit is the fact that they always try to show luffy as this oh such a good character always bringing out the best in people like no stop fucking glazing luffy it's like oh like sure there are some scenes where watching him genuinely fills you with pride but he doesn't need to be the hero in every single scene that is some heavy bullshit like i'm sure people who are writing and like making this one piece episode are huge dumb fuck one piece fans who think that he is the greatest character ever the only good scene in the entire episode was when the episode ended <laughs> okay okay that's fine i'm just kidding uh, this scene right here was great and everything as some good stuff happened in it but then this scene where she steals the letter and tears it and throws it away was so fucking dumb like sure she didn't tear the special code thing of the marine but she still broke the law punish that dumb child the episode was horrible the animation was really good though i i do stand by what i said over there that was the animation was fucking amazing uh, it fitted really well but everything else was a fucking lie or whatever i said uh, i hated the episode and if you liked it please start watching better anime like i'm not judging your taste i got drugs has in this bitch drug life flies in this bitch there is just better anime out there and i feel like it was a big waste of time but i have seen it so you know might as well do something about it that's really all that i have to say for today um i didn't like on, j- with all honesty i fucking hated that episode it was dumb it was bullshit there was no emotions in that episode people are calling it perfect and amazing i did not see anything in that episode it was shit that is all like the video like the video if you enjoyed and if you agree with me and subscribe if you disagree with me and or if you are brand new obviously one k likes and i will do a complete uncensored review of everyone's favorite family friendly anime overflow and subscribe right now how do we have less subscribers than the official one piece english channel subscribe right now and let's show them what good anime is like that is really all that i have to say for today if you want to know what the best com- best rom com of all time is then click here watch this video out and uh, here are some more you know my reviews or unfiltered reviews of some other animes and episodes so yeah watch this level up quick and don't be a dick see you next time